This video is made for adult collectors because it likes to break right out of the box. Pain. 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 Forget it. I bought this sealed. Sealed. Recently. Right out of the box, the wings were stressed, just like my last copy, and the head fell off. Kevin, no. <laughs> To be fair, Kevin is the right head, but it's still funny to call him Kevin. Cheeky Godzilla reference out there for those who don't get it. This is the last knight leader Dragonstorm, a character who in the film was made up of 12 knights. Or 11. Or 10. Or 13. I've come. Or six? I don't know, they, they, they made up the amount of knights in that film all throughout the movie. There's different numbers of knights all the time. It's annoying. This toy though is only two because leader class budget. But first, we'll start with dragon mode. Dragon D's nut. Also, I have a Patreon. It's in the description below if you want to check it out. Yeah, there, there, uh, that there, there goes the head. So no head. The heads are made of that special rubber. You know, the rubber that likes to melt plastic, apparently. I was told this back when I sold my original one because my buddy who worked at the shop at the time was buying it from me. And he told me that he always gets copies with melted heads. And sure enough, there you go. If you look very closely, you can see the gloopy mess of the plastic parts. So yeah, it melted. I can still keep the head attached if I don't move it, but man, screw this thing. The wings also had stress marks out of the box, just like my last copy. And then this had one other more common issue, but I'll talk about that in robot mode. What do I like though? Well, I like the deco on the wings, the way that they did the wiry texture and the silver on it. It just, it looks like it did in the film and it works quite well here. And same with his back. But that's really the only place you see this sort of tooling, and it makes it feel very inconsistent. He's standing at a constant lean forward due to how small his front arms are because they have to like shove into the torso of uh, Dragonicus, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's by no means a deal breaker. That's the head. Neck breaker. I do, however, find it funny putting Ninja on this because it's Ninjago, dragons, you know. Jump up, kick back, whip around, and die. His articulation is basically useless. You can stand him up on his hind legs, but he likes to fall forward, which is kind of annoying. And the wings I wish could splay out a little bit more to give him more presence while standing there. Okay, this is annoying to do. <laughs> um, oh man, you're supposed to like split this. So the, the hardest part to do with the transformation here is this middle section. Right, because for some reason it, it doesn't split down the middle because of how the head works. So like, you gotta get your fingernails in here and just like, split it. Ah. Do a flat object, like a sc Ooh, screwdriver. Usually I have to like wedge something in here and sort of pry it open. Ah, there we go. Then you fillet him. And you pull him in half and we'll do the easy one first. This is, I don't remember which one this is, but it looks like his hips are on backwards. And according to the manual and one of my friends, they're supposed to be this way with the rivets facing forward, but like that looks better. And like, it's supposed to be the front. So I think the hips were just put on backwards in installation and stuff. And that's just how he was released. It's very, it's very weird. This whole arm thing though is actually pretty cool to wait. Oh, until you, until, until you pull it off. Now the head, when you rotate the head around, you can't go this way. You have to go this way. Because the chin goes through this gap here and doesn't clear this shoulder. Bring that up. Bring this around. Hold out the hand. Boom. I believe this one's Storm Rain. So there's Storm Rain. Now that idiot. Dragonicus is weird and very complicated. You gotta like fold the arms into here and they don't like to fit all the time. So, ah, damn it, there we go. And it's supposed to peg in. Now the claws are getting in the way and you know, fun. Ah, there we go. And then the legs are actually pretty cool the way that they unfurl and then rotate. There goes his pelvis again. It reminds me a lot of, um, Combiner Wars, what's his name? Bone Crusher? Because Combiner Wars Bone Crusher's pelvis would also split randomly on you. So, fold the wings up. And there you have Dragonicus. What a stupid name. Dragonicus. His transformation is very annoying. Robot modes 
are actually cool looking. Colors seem to work for me in these two modes, which is nice because they look very inconsistent in the alt mode. This is like a reverse duocon though, two robots forming one alt mode, but here you have Dragonicus and Storm Rain. Get it, Dragon Storm? Dragonicus is beefy. He, he has a lot of bulk to him and he's most of the dragon. You can flare out the wings if you want to give him even more of a presence, which is neat, but I personally don't do that. This is where that last common problem comes into play though. Some people, and you can see this with Emgo's video from way back in the day, some people would get copies that didn't have a head. Straight up, just no head. Again, so no head. But the robot mode head this time would just not have come on the figure. That's a massive issue on top of the other two issues this toy seems to commonly have. Again, not every copy has this, but a lot do. Storm Rain, on the other hand, isn't red. The red knight in the film is this dude. And yeah, I didn't know that till I Googled his name. If he was red, then the dragon mode on the toy would have looked rough. But like, why did they make him red in the film if he's going to combine and form a gray dragon? It makes... But then at the beginning of the film, he doesn't even combine into the dragon. He's just standing there and the dragon combines behind. I don't understand. It make... Fuck the last night, man. Both of them stand at around Voyager height, which makes sense. So you can have them beat the shit out of Nemesis Prime if you want to. They come with weapons. Dragonicus comes with two butter knives and Storm Rain gets a meat tenderizer. They look super boring. It's because of that ugly unpainted games workshopy grid that they loved using back then it's just it looks so unfinished and horrible all right so articulation on both of these guys is different between the two actually which is surprising um it's definitely not your modern standard of articulation like this guy has more but yeah we'll start with this idiot so head can rotate but only really it can only really go that way because it only goes that far the other way so that's a pain Shoulders are on ball joints. He's got bicep swivels on. Uh, bicep swivels, I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, elbow bend, nothing at the wrist. This one has a waist joint. Uh, hips can go forward and back, in and out. Thigh rotation, knee bend. Um, which leg is the one that pops out? I think it's this one. If you wanna go even deeper with a knee bend, you can do that, but only on the one leg. Uh, and then nothing at the feet. like. They don't tilt, they go down, but that's useless, so. He's, yeah, not the not the greatest. There he goes. Storm Rain, that's this one, right? Yeah, Storm Rain actually is quite poseable and looks good in poses. So you got the wings, right? That you can flare out if you really want to. Um, so that he looks like that, but let's just get them out of the way. Head is on a ball joint and he can actually look left and right both ways. Yay. Uh, shoulders, ball joints, in and out. The shoulder pads move out of the way to accommodate that. This one likes to fall off, like, very easily. So, that's annoying. You have bicep rotation, elbow bend, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist due to how he transforms. Hips can go forward and back, and they ratchet in and out on these sort of, like, buttery ratchets that feel terrible. And there goes his... Yep, not strong enough. Thigh rotation. You have a knee bend that it's double jointed so that's nice and then you get an ankle pivot sort of you, this one does it this one doesn't do it it straight up just won't pivot and i don't know it'll go forward and back but it won't pivot this one pivots so it's very weird it's designed to pivot it's designed to do it but like it doesn't like to it pops back it's it's all very strange so yeah don't <laughs> most of my videos end with a hey i think you should only pay this much for it because blah 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 but if you find this just straight up don't get one i got it at a local shop and i got it because i wanted to do a leader class shelf so it makes sense but here nah bro hard pass also i just want to point out it was really funny i was at that shop and i was looking around before i settled on getting dragon storm and there were these two guys shopping there in the Transformers section too, and they were just talking to each other, blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't paying attention to what they're saying because, you know, that's rude. But I heard them mention TFCon, and I was like, ah, that's cool. Like other guys that go to TFCon. And then they picked up a Classics Bumblebee, and one of the guys goes, oh, uh, this is Classics Bumblebee. Yeah, Toy Guy did a video on this, and I stopped. I froze. I'm thinking, this guy doesn't know I'm standing next to him. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because that would have just been weird. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. But back to the toy Hasbro, if you by any chance see this, 
please do a Studio Series 1 of like a bunch of tall deluxe knights or Voyager knights that combine to form Dragonstorm. Do it like you did Devastator. That would be so much better than this. But that's been my look at The Last Night Dragonstorm. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm gonna go have a nap. <laughs>